ceremony of President Yoweri Museveni. Preparations for this one-day event are still meeting obstacles. Today, the Budget Committee of Parliament blocked the approval of the 3 billion shillings requested by government for the event until the Minister for Presidency, Beatrice Wawdeya, makes some adjustments. It followed a meeting that was closed to the media. In the event that uh, there is still an inflation of, of two digits running in the country, where the salaries of members and everything has not been adjusted, the Honorable Minister is coming with an adjusted to reflect, to cater for the inflation, an adjusted figure to cater for the inflation for the swearing in ceremony. Yes, we have sent her back and she supports suppliers with more information because there is a lot of public outcry there. There's inflation going on, uh, salary of workers, policemen, teachers, in Lagos hospital, there are no drugs. In the 2001 presidential swearing in, government spent less than 2 billion shillings. MPs now want to update to give a breakdown of how the 3 billion shillings will be used. We have issues to do with the inv invitations, we have issues to do with accommodation, we have issues to do with the seating arrangement, we have issues to do with the publicity and communication, we have issues to do with the protocol, we have transport issues, there are construction, so it is a, it's a whole range of things. Wabdeya well, justified the huge cost because of the invitations handed out to more than 32 heads of state to attend the event. And we are asking them that uh, during Shogam government acquired a lot of facilities like vehicles, so we don't need to budget again for transport, we only need fuel. Meanwhile, the committee refused to listen to State Minister for Microfinance Ruth Nankabira and Defence Minister for Permanent Secretary Rosette Vyengoma. The two had come to defend the 1.7 trillion shillings government approved to purchase jet fighters without parliament's approval. The committee wants Defence Minister Chris Paskiyong himself to make an appearance. If we can refuse then the person who went ahead to spend the 1.7 trillion without following the procedure will be accountable, will be held accountable. Whether a head of state will be made to pay. The Minister of Defence has been summoned to come and appear before the Budget Committee tomorrow. It remains to be seen whether Minister Kiyonga will finally make it to defend the controversial purchase. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Parliament.